Good evening, everyone, from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. Well, I had a series of events happen today that really uh, ignited this message for me tonight that I'm going to share and attempt to encourage you with. It is so very important that we get a rhema word. How would I describe that? A word in season, dafka, as we say in Hebrew, like bullseye, the perfect example. A rhema word, you'll know when you've received it. It's like a word directly from the throne of God. And everything in you will scream, yeah, yeah, I know that that is from God. And that happened to me last week. What a great blessing. It is so important that we know that we have heard a rhema word from God before we step out and do something that is life changing. And I'll use the example of Aliyah. I knew that I knew that I knew that God had spoken to me in February 2009 as he led me to pick up a book titled Let My People Go by Tom Hess that was written many years before. There's been many volumes, and I had that book on my bookshelf for seven years, but I never picked it up. Well, in God's timing, he directed me. I picked it up, and I sobbed, and I just, it was as if he, if I could put it into words, it was as if he took hold of my shirt collar and said, I'm speaking. Do you hear me? And I just, crying and looking up and knowing now, right now, and, um, I had some phone numbers to call. I had been to a seminar like seven years before when I bought my shofar and that book more than likely. And um, it was God's timing. And many, many years before that, I never said anything to anyone. I wanted to make Aliyah, but I went into my head and I said, well, how, how do you leave your family? How do you leave your country? You know, Because I loved Israel before I ever even came to Israel, I believe in 1996. But when it's God's timing, and he puts a word, he speaks directly into your heart. You need those words because when times get tough, and they surely do, you have to be able to lean on those words. I know some of you are shaking your head and agreeing with me because we've all been through something like this. You have to know that you know that you know that God spoke very clearly to you. So when times get tough, you can go, okay, well, I'm holding on and I'm digging my heels in because I know that I know that I know that God spoke to me. So a life-changing decision, for me it was moving to Israel, God spoke, I knew it, that settled it. It wasn't a matter of this, it was a matter of this, he spoke and it was clear. And when I moved home to Israel, even though the first two years were really painstaking and difficult, and I'm not saying it's easy, it's not, but it's glorious being in the center of God's will, hallelujah, and strategically also. Um, and so it's really important to have that rhema word when you make a life-changing decision. And when I came home to Israel, my life truly began to blossom. I believe that I was walking towards my destiny and dancing towards my destiny before I made Aliyah, which means to go up. And you're always going up to Jerusalem, even if you're uh, in the north. You're right, you'd be going south, but you always say, I'm always going, I'm always going up to Jerusalem. Aliyah, to go up. Hallelujah. And he gives you what you need to do what he's led you to do. Absolutely. So, making tough, tough, life-changing decisions, you need to know that God has really spoken. We're talking about really, really big things so that you can lean on that and not run away. So you can lean on it and go, okay, well, I know that God spoke. And every story that I've heard of people coming to Israel, it wasn't a logical thing. And for many people, it was all I knew was the next step was moving home to Israel. I didn't know anything beyond that, and that's how it was for me. You know, I didn't know anything beyond that, but the way it is with Israel is that you need to be strategically here most times to hear the next direction from the Lord, and just because things are difficult doesn't mean, on the contrary, that it's not the Lord. Marriage is challenging, right? Marriage, I call it the last frontier, because your partner reflects the very depths of who you are. And if there's a pain in there, you're not going to want to deal with that. So marriage is the most challenging relationship. But when you stick with it in normal circumstances, let's say, just life issues, everyone's got issues, 
you will see the joy that comes from working through things. However, there are extenuating circumstances, and we also all know about that. So don't, don't judge anyone until you've walked in their moccasins. I remember seeing that on his ginormous poster when I was a kid in a dentist's office. And it always stayed with me because it is true and the only judge is God. So take yourself at a position of God. That is not your role. Your role is to love, child of God. God bless you from the city of the great king, Yerushalayim.